Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, as you can tell from the thumbnail, this week is all about Colorado football and their content creators. And so the fun thing about this week for me is that I actually got to interact and talk to people that I wouldn't always interact and talk to about the things they love to do. And so I'm super excited about this week to bring you my three Colorado content creators that I was able to talk to. So I wanna get just talk a little bit about wh why I chose who I chose, what to expect as we get into this week and whatever else I decide to add to this video. <laughs> First and foremost, so first and so first and foremost, I'm going to say this at the beginning of this episode because a lot of people don't know this, and they always ask me this. All everything that you're going to see this week is pre-recorded. So if anything new has come up, if anything new has happened, I will not be talking about it in all the episodes. So just remember, a lot of these pre-recorded things are pre-recorded well in advance. So all the new things, all the different things that are happening they will not be talked about in some of my conversations. Now, one of my conversations that will happen at the end of the week is the most current conversation. That conversation happened in August, so you will get to hear about some other things. However, the other conversations I had happened in July, and the people that I was able to talk to, I was really excited to get them. So I'm going to start off the week with a content creator that I actually reached out to, didn't think he was going to actually talk to me, but he decided to talk to me. And I was excited to get his perspective because I think he's doing something new. He's doing something that is different. And I love how he has started to use his platform to really bring awareness to the Colorado football team. And it's a, it was kind of it was cool to be able to talk to him and to be able to understand more about what he's doing and how he's doing things and how he's really making a name for himself. So you'll see that on Monday. On Tuesday, I was able to talk to somebody that I feel like is covering Colorado from a different perspective. I like the angles that he uses to talk about Colorado and I like how he talks just in regards to as he's learning and the knowledge that he's applying and how he looks at situations. So it was really cool to talk to him and understand his perspective. And the person that I'm going to be talking to on Wednesday is one of my favorite Colorado football content creators. He was the first person I ever was able to talk to in this Colorado football space. He is actually the reason why I decided to move forward and start my YouTube channel. And he is brilliant. And so the person on Wednesday is somebody that I consider a friend and I'm super glad that I was able to have this conversation. I'm super excited that he decided to do this conversation. And so this whole week, I'm excited to just talk all Colorado football content creation. And again, like I did last week, we're going to talk a little bit about the team, a little bit about our expectations, a little bit about what makes Colorado, Colorado. I keep doing this weird thing because my hair. And so I'm super excited for you all to hear the things that we talk about. The best thing about me recording this is I know who I picked. I know how things are going to release. And it's funny to me, the people that have come to me of the people that they think I'm going to be talking to this week. And so it's super fun for me to just like hear people's different opinions and for me to hear what people think I'm going to be doing. And so that's that. The other cool thing about talking to Colorado content creators is we all know with Well Off, with Reach the People, with Neely, with really this whole new thing and this phenomenon that's really happened with social media and the way that Coach Prime is able to market his, himself, we know if you're in this space, how many channels there are and how many people are talking about Colorado. I want to mention that just because I chose three people to talk to does not mean that I have an issue with the people that I chose not to talk to or the people that I didn't reach out to. I chose these three specific people for a reason because I think they cover Colorado differently than other people cover Colorado. And it's important for me, just like I did with the Steelers, it's important for me to have that variation of conversation with different types of people and different types of different types of coverage, different types of ways that they're talking about Colorado. And it was important for me to really talk to just different people in the space. And so just because I didn't choose to talk to a certain content creator doesn't mean I have a beef with that content creator, doesn't mean I don't like that content creator or whatever kind of thing you'll make up in your head as to why I chose who I chose. I chose who I chose based off the fact that I think each of these three people are completely different from each other. And I wanted that difference. I wanted to make things different and I wanted to do things differently. And so that's why I chose them. As what happened last week, each of these is going to be released at 2 p.m. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then at the end of the week, 
I will release my, or on Thursday, I will release my video of what I think about the season, some keys or paths to victory that I'm seeing, some things that I'm looking forward to seeing this season. I will say, because I wanted to be real and because I wanted this to be like my own thoughts, I recorded all of my keys to success videos before I started this, this series because I wanted my thoughts to be my thoughts and I wanted to stand independent of what anybody else was going to say. The cool thing about that is a lot of my conversations actually ring true to the things that I say at the end of the week. And so it's just been kind of a cool thing to see what I thought before I started these conversations and then to follow back up with the end to see if people thought the same thing I did, to see if I'm off, or really just to see how we're thinking about this as a total community. So this week is all about the Colorado Buffaloes. I'm excited to talk about the Colorado Buffaloes unless something happens in politics, because we all know by this point, I will shove it down your throats as much as possible. And so if something happens in politics, you're going to get a political video and that's just what it's going to be. But if not, this week is going to be all about Colorado. And I'm wearing blue because I am patriotic and that's, that's where my vote is going. But anyway, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Again, I just wanted to do this to bring to the forefront all the cool content creation that's happening in the CU space. I'm fully aware that there's a ton of more content creators that I'm going to touch on. And those of you that are familiar with me in other spaces, you will also know that the people that I'm talking to aren't always the spaces that I'm showing into. That was by design. And so I think it was important for me to bring in some diversity, equity, and inclusion, some DEI, <laughs> as I was recording this, to really make sure that we're talking to and we have the opportunity to hear from a different variety of people. Because, you know, I think DEI matters, but this is not a political video. And I will not talk about why DEI matters. And I will not talk about why diversity of people, diversity of thought, and diversity of things is important. I will just show it through my work and through my actions. And so if you got what, if you got my drift, you got my drift. If you didn't get my drift, you need to get more involved with politics so you can understand what I'm saying. And hopefully you'll learn something about the content creators that you listen to all the time. Hopefully this will give you more of an idea of who they are, what their purpose is, why they're doing the things that they're doing, why they're working so hard to do these things for you and to really bring different things to you so that you can also enjoy the team that we all love and that we all support. Before I end this video, I'm going to give a shout out to myself because this is the blue dress. And if you're watching this, and there will be some of you that are watching this, that will know exactly what that means. And so I needed to throw it in here because I will get all kinds of questions and people will say, is that, is that, is that? Yes, this is the blue dress. So if you know what that means, you know what that means. If you don't know what that means, eventually you'll figure out what that means. But I just need to throw that in there for the people that know exactly what I'm talking about. So here it is. It's happened. I can fit the dress. So anyways, as I always say, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments below. I would love to know what you think. And if you have any guesses on who you think I'm going to talk to this week, drop them in the comments below. It will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. There will be three different content creators in the CU space. And I'm interested to see who you all think I might be talking to because it might not be who you think it's going to be. But I'm very interested for you to see who it's going to be because these conversations were fun, insightful, and they needed to happen. And I'm glad that I was able to get this done.